Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna share with you my new gadget that I created. It is a wireless retro keyboard. I'm not saying that it is a console because it works as a keyboard and it runs on batteries. The brain of this thing is the ESP32 development board. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the building process. I took some photos of the building process. I'm going to share them with you. So maybe you're going to decide to do it by yourself. And also, I'm going to share the code that I wrote and uploaded to the board. So, and explain the circuit as well. So you will see how it works. It is pretty easy. And yep. I hooked up with my laptop, but you can use it as a gamepad on your Raspberry Pi and install RetroPie and some ROMs there and play some uh, games. I'm happy with it because I wanted to play some old games that I used to play when I was a child. And yep, so let's see what we've done. So let's see what we've got here. We've got some tasters, some joysticks. The brain of this thing is the ESP32 board, so it is right here. Uh, we've got some uh, charging modules and some step-up modules to power the board. I used a battery here because I want it to be wireless and to, to be able to, to run it on batteries. And let's see how it works. I firstly had put ground, so I firstly had connected them with the ground. So one, one plate of the buttons and the joystick is connected with the ground. Uh, I connected them in parallel and after that I put ground uh, to the last one from the ESP32. And the other plate uh, is, is connected to one of the GPIO pins that are available on the ESP32 and basically when we press the button the ESP32 detects a digital change, the digital, digital change of the signal and uh, we, are, we are sending a Bluetooth command accordingly. So the ESP32 sends a Bluetooth command to the computer or uh, to, to the device that we, we've connected it. Uh, so, I didn't use any external pull-up nor pull-down resistors because I declared and I used pull-up uh, resistors that are, that are available uh, on the, the ESP32. I declared them in the code, so you'll see the whole code as well. And, yep. I like ESP32 because it offers a lot, so we can use it even for more professional uh, projects that we can use for something like this and, and make some fun. So that's it about the circuit. I think that it is pretty easy and can be done easily. I could have made some better uh, cable management, but you know, it works. So let's see the code that we've got. I'm not going to go into a lot of details about the code because it's pretty simple. If you've got experience with Arduino and those microcontroller things, you will be able to, to understand it and change it to suit your needs. So at the beginning, we are declaring the, the library that we need in order to send Bluetooth commands to the computer. So the library can be accessed through this link here. So after that, I'm declaring an object. So this is the name that I'm gonna use in order to connect my keyboard to my computer. I'm gonna uh, access this name through the Bluetooth section of this Windows machine. Uh, so this is, this is the left part of the keyboard. These are the pins that I used 
feel free to change them if you need different ones. Uh, this is the right part of the keyboard. So the, pin, uh, the pinouts also. The key states at the beginning I set them uh, to false. Uh, the key pins and also the key codes. So depending on which uh, pin is being pressed, I'm sending different key codes. For example, if the double key is pressed, uh, I am sending a double reach R. How I said before, I didn't use any external pull up or pull down resistors. So I declared them uh, as internal pull up resistors. Uh, some checkings and these are the method that I use in order to send uh, correspondingly different key codes. So when there is a digital change here and the, the state is also not the state is also not true so uh, if, if the state is false so if the current button is not pressed I'm sending a different comment and after that comment and after that I'm resetting uh, and releasing the 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 button that is being pressed so that's basically it pretty simple code so you can you can see you can change it how i said before to suit your needs so yep so that was everything that i've got so thank you for watching if you like this little gadget that i created please subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me i'm gonna also upload some other similar projects that i do in my free time also press the like button and leave a comment down below. So thank you again, and we're gonna see each other in one of our next videos. Bye-bye.